Well, what a blessing it is uh, tonight to be in front of uh, all of you uh, children uh, to read the Christmas story, and all of you have an opportunity to, uh, to also bless other people, because as you hear the story tonight, one of the opportunities that you have is to go out and share the story. So uh, the wonderment of the story, the magicness of the story, um, you know, it, it, it will, will be held within uh, God's Word here in the Bible. So as you listen carefully, um, we ask that, uh, that you hear the words carefully, that you hear the praises carefully, that you hear the story carefully, that you're able to go out and share um, the story tomorrow with, with your family uh, during, during the uh, Christmas time and uh, be able to understand uh, the magic of what, uh, of what the Scripture tells us. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, read from God's Word here. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and the lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, There were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, I bring you good news of great joy, joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them, Into the heavens, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered, at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told them. So with this reading tonight, again, I want you to be able to share tomorrow the story of Jesus, uh, the birth that we celebrate tomorrow. And, um, as, you know, we are blessed by having all these children uh, in our church here at uh, Lakeside Fellowship, these beautiful children. And uh, uh, I just want you to know that you're a real blessing to the church. So you may return to your seats, and thank you for listening.